Hey y'all, we'll be working on the weekly reads. We're going to start with Scorpio. As you guys know, I will be doing weekly love reads. I'm pulling two cards for you, two for your partner, and two for the outcome. We're going to clarify those and pull from the Power of Love Oracle deck for a little guidance. This is just a little mini update for you guys. Hopefully you like it. I see that some of you guys really did, so that's awesome. Um, if you guys are interested, I am doing a $50 12 month <laughs> forecast for the year 2019 i'm also doing a 25 dollars six month forecast for the year of 2019 i'm also taking personal reads so you guys can hit me up on my email intimate wisdom tarot for more details on that let's see what messages we have this is for scorpio sun moon rise and venus for the week of november the 18th through the 24th 2018 what messages do we have for scorpio sun moon rising and venus for the week of november the 18th through the 24th all right Scorpio let's see what we got underlying energy for the week for giving and learning so you guys are most definitely healing from the past you're releasing some things maybe releasing things that do not um, serve you having more you're experiencing more love in your present moment because you have ex you have released some things from the past okay you are forgiven some people too from what I'm seeing so let's see we're going to pull two for you. Hmm. So you could be freeing yourself from a, a marriage. You guys could be freeing yourself from a marriage. Definitely got this right here. We got two for your partner. Your partner may be releasing the energy from the past, maybe releasing their ex um, for the... Uh. So let's see what the hell we got going on because this situation does involve children. Maybe some codependency, codependent situations. Um, someone, your partner is clearly deciding what they want and they're deciding to release some energy. I'm not sure if this is you. Um, I believe maybe you and your partner may be releasing each other. So this can be a divorce for some of you guys. Um, maybe you have a divorce being finalized, something going through with that. You're freeing yourself. You're freeing yourself emotionally and you're taking back control of your life, making decisions, judgment here. So this is of judgment. Some of you guys are, are getting divorced. Congratulations. <laughs> Let's go have a party. All right, so why is wet in here? It says this situation involves marriage. Why is wet in here? All right. Yeah, so some of you guys are definitely balancing your emotions moving forward, leaving the past in the goddamn past. So some of y'all got a judgment. Y'all getting a divorce. You got a whole new life. Some of y'all, this is a time for you to celebrate. You freed yourself from restriction. You freed yourself from whatever has kept you stuck and, a and unable to progress in your life. With free yourself, it says it's time for you to take back control. There's too many. It's time for you to take back control of your life. Why is free yourself here? Some of you guys are this unicorn that's been trapped. Scorpio, death card, you right here freeing yourself, ending high. So you have ended just you have ended this cycle. You are freeing yourself from this cycle. You are removing yourself from all the restrictions that you've had. You're ending the betrayals. You're ending the stresses. You're ending. It's just an end to everything that was keeping you in this muddled up, fucked up place. You are really making changes towards your happiness, and this is your doing. Fortune is on your side right now, so things are really working out in your favor. Let's see what's going on with your partner. Your partner has released your ex or the person you're connecting with. This can be the person that you're divorcing. Um, but we have released your ex here, so it is a time for, for your partner or for you. This can be, you know, pick a side. <laughs> but someone is needing to release energy of the past. It says the time has come to clear the energy. So you and your partner could be, yeah. You and your partner could be moving forward. Yep. Ace of Swords here, Knight of Wands, seeing things from a new perspective, really feeling confident about moving forward. Someone is really deciding what's in their best interest. There could be money issues or this can be due to money issues. Um, but whatever the case may be, there was some worry. There were some imbalances. But this this is a clean slate for the both of you. And I, I think it's great. Um, with very soon, it does say that you need to clearly, you could be dealing with a cancer as well. You could be releasing that. So you could be releasing your partner, going on a clean slate, moving forward into a new relationship kind of fast now. You could be moving forward kind of fast, but someone is really deciding what they want. So if this is your energy through the whole read, you've basically released this ex and they're deciding what they want to do now. This situation may have something to do with children. There may be some heart to heart conversations that need to be had, but I really think it's, it's in your best interest that you both really discuss if there are children involved discuss the or 
make plans moving forward in regards to how you're going to handle the children or, you know, I guess custody of the children if that's not already within the divorce settlement. This is a divorce. Wedding, judgment here, moving forward, this is a divorce. If not a divorce, you're breaking up. Someone's freeing themselves from a situation that does not serve them. So we got very soon here. It says clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you. Why is very soon here? Two of Wands here. Ooh, so someone's making the decision to release some fears and move forward. Go after their own wealth, their own stability. They're really deciding to go towards something stable, releasing fears. So this could be someone that you're moving toward as well, and you're releasing the ex and moving toward this person, and they're making a decision to move toward you. There's some anxiety moving forward. There's some fears, maybe fears of the unknown, not knowing what they're getting into, but I do see a movement forward. So you're experiencing more love right now because you've released this past. Yep. Seven of Pentacles. You're worried about this, though. Okay. So you feel mentally in your head about this because you're worried about moving forward. But I believe you should allow your concerns to fade away. Understand that the seeds have been set. Like the seeds have been planted in whatever situation you're dealing with. It's time to move forward. So we do have children right here. It says your love life is being affected by children. Why is children right here? Two of Cups relationship mm, clarity moving forward with a relationship some of you guys have are getting out of this mental restriction so this is what free yourself is you understand now that the worst is over that needs to be your your title leave it off like leave it to me to lose my pen the worst is over scorpio you're free you're free freedom you got freedom baby so some of you guys are getting out of this mental restriction you're moving forward. You see clearly that you have balance to move forward. You see clearly that you can balance the situation to move forward. You may have felt trapped in the past, but you're not trapped anymore. Yes, the situation does involve children, but you're finding your balance. And I think this is great. We got heart-to-heart -heart conversations here. It says honestly discuss your feelings with each other. For those of you, because I do see someone else, for those of you that are moving toward another relationship or was in a relationship why this was going on, you really need to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with your partner, uh, with your future partner, whoever you're with now, just to discuss what you're feeling because some of you guys are, this is a relief no doubt, but anytime something ends, even if this is something that you've been waiting on a long time, there's some feelings that you're needing to release and let go of in order for you to just fully progress and free yourself emotionally so you may be going through you know some feelings of maybe regret once you gain your independence but it's time you, you you need to be free so we got heart to heart conversations yep eight of cups okay so really discuss what it feels like to leave this situation to uh, remove yourself from this situation now the person that you are removing yourself from they may not be feeling within the same vibration meaning they may have a hard time releasing you moving forward they need to see the situation from a new perspective see the benefits of freeing themselves from the situation and clearly decide what they want to do moving forward because someone may resist or, re or retreat because of the situation <laughs> yeah yeah someone may resist walking away or someone may be insecure about walking away so if this is the divorce is final for some of you guys for others of you the relationship is over you're moving forward you're gaining your happiness you're finding your balance but you may be insecure and you may just need to stand your ground about why you're deciding to do this or why you have decided to do this so for those of you that are just getting to this getting a divorce you might need to stand your ground in regards to walking away really explain what it is that you desire and explain that you no longer want to be in a stagnant or failed situation and you really are pushing toward your happiness and this is the passion that you have right now it's your decision it's your life don't allow other people to keep you restricted based off what they want yeah the worst is over so now we're going to pull from the power of love oracle so we can see what messages we have and y'all popped up in your own reading with free yourself so shh, baby this is right you on the right path you are on the right path scorpio all right so, we're going to pull from the Power of Love Oracle. What guidance do we have for Scorpio going forward into the next week? What guidance do we have for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus going forward. Guidance for Scorpio going forward. Guidance for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus going forward. Alright, so let's see what guidance we have. 
of course. Detachment. It says you are releasing Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> you are releasing old patterns and ideas that no longer serve your highest ideals of love. You are elevating. It says you are making the conscious decision to raise your vibration of love. You are being honest and being and having the utmost integrity. It says you demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul and manifest love with your every action. And with expressing, you are expressing what it is that you honestly want within yourself. The worst is over. It's time for you to really be true to who you are. It says you are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into actions of love some of you guys see really what it is that you want to bring um to your life right now so you're making adjustments and transforming your life and it's beautiful that's all i got y'all peace <laughs>